And today I've got something very special for you and very, very much requested. It's macarons, but they're going to be made with mixed berries. They are so good, guys. They look super cute. They're very crunchy and soft in the middle. And that feeling of mixed berries just brings you back to that summer. You know, those fresh berries in your mouth, they explode. I'm literally salivating right now because they're so, so amazing. I really, really hope you try these, you make them. Check out all my other macaron recipes. And if you've got any other questions or any other requests for different flavors, then please leave the comments down below. Let me know what is your favorite combination and maybe I'll make it for you guys. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the little notification bell because this way you will be updated every single time I upload a new video. Now let's get started. In a pan, add your mixed frozen berries. You can also use fresh, but I prefer frozen because it's much easier to find all these. Then we're gonna add sugar and we're going to mix everything together. Ideally, you want to cook this on a medium heat for about five to 10 minutes until the berries are completely defrosted and you will see they will become quite liquidy just like this. You want to take it off the heat and then place it into your blender, all the fruit together. And we're going to blitz this until they become nice and smooth. So all these berries are gonna be this beautiful red color. Then you want to sieve your mixture through to make the coolie. So take a fine sieve and using your spoon, move it up and down until you get your puree. Next, we're gonna add double cream into a pan and then add our mixed berry coolie and then mix everything together. You want to cook this for a good five to 10 minutes until the mixture starts to thicken and you can keep whisking it and just doing it on a medium heat. So once it's cooked, it's gonna be looking just like that. Just keep mixing and whisking it. Then take it off the heat and take your white chocolate and melt it in a microwave and then just mix it through. You don't want to burn white chocolate, so make sure you do it in the 30 second breaks in a microwave, or you can also do it over the double boiler. Once your white chocolate is melted, you want to add your double cream mixed berry mixture into your white chocolate and mix it slowly at a time. You want to add a little bit so the mixture doesn't get cooked more, and just keep mixing it with your spoon while you're adding more mixture. So once you've added all your double cream mixture together with white chocolate, you want to place this into the fridge overnight as it needs to set and harden. Guys and girls, I have my recipe on my website at aliceyummyfood.com. You'll find full ingredients and also directions on how to make this. And also you'll be able to find loads of other recipes that I do for my channel. Uh, just click through, click on the picture and you'll be able to see the whole video with the directions and the full recipe in English and Russian languages. Into your food processor, add your ground almonds, then add icing sugar. And I like to layer it just on top then add more ground almonds. So this way you get mixed quite nice and well and even. We're gonna close the lid and we're going to blitz this together until it becomes nice and fine powder. This way it saves you time to sieve it. But if you don't have a food processor, don't worry, you can just sieve the mixtures together into a bowl. Then place all your mixture into a large bowl and make a little dip in the middle with your spatula. And we're going to add our egg whites in here. Make sure that they're room temperature. This gives you the best result. Then you want to mix everything together, combine the egg whites with our almond mixture and just mix it together until it becomes nice sort of almondy paste, just like this. You can just set it aside and leave it for now. Next, we're going to make our sugar glaze. So add your water and sugar into a pan. And we're going to cook this on a high heat at first until the sugar starts to melt. And you can use a little wooden spatula to mix everything together. 
just move it around make sure that everything is mixed in together you might want to use a pastry brush with some water make sure it's not caramelizing on top and the sugar is not burning and then i'm placing a thermometer or sugar thermometer whatever you have in your kitchen just to keep an eye on the temperature while the sugar is boiling we're going to add our egg whites into a stand mixer and whisk this on high speed when the syrup reaches 115 degrees celsius and your egg whites start to get a little frothy we then want to cook the syrup until it reaches 118 degrees and pour it over the egg whites in a slow and steady stream you're going to whisk this for about seven minutes until you start to see stiff peaks then you want to stop the mix to scrape down and then whisk for extra couple of minutes and then when you can turn the bowl over then the meringue doesn't fall out you know you've reached the stiff peaks i also like to add vanilla extract so just add that in the middle and then whisk again and then once it's incorporated it should be done and ready Next, grab your spatula full of the meringue and fold it into the almond sugar mixture and you want to mix it until it's well combined. This actually allows the mixture to thin out a little bit before you add the rest of the mixture and doesn't get out all the air. Fold everything together by going around the bowl with a spatula and then through the middle. Continue folding until the batter gets thin enough that it drips off the spatula and falls into a ribbon. It should take about 10 seconds for the ribbon to disappear into the rest of the batter. That is when you know that the batter is ready to pipe. And that's when you want to pipe it into a piping bag with a round tip. Pipe the little rounds of batter about 3.5 cm in diameter, spacing them 2 cm apart on the flat baking trays lined with baking parchment paper. You want to gently tap the tray on the work surface a couple of times so there are no bubbles. Then leave to stand for at least 30 minutes until the skin forms on the shelves. They shouldn't be sticky when you touch them. Then you want to preheat your oven to 150 degrees Celsius or 300 Fahrenheit and bake them for about 23 minutes. Times of baking might vary depending on your oven, so it's completely a lot of trials. If your oven is different and they brown on one side, turn the fan down. You might need to cook them for longer or shorter. It completely depends on your oven and your baking environment. Fill each one of your macaron shells with the delicious mixed berry cream. Just pipe a little bit inside. You can see that the cream hasn't had enough time to set because I was really impatient to make these. Like I said, it needs to set for much longer in the fridge or you can put it in a freezer if you want it to, to sort of set faster. So place a little blob in the middle and then you want to take the second shell and just kind of press inside to glue them together. And then they need to go back in the fridge to set overnight so you can eat them the next day. To make them prettier, what you can do is take some red food coloring, place it into your bowl and then take a little bit of water and a pastry brush. Mix it all together and then go over each macaron to create sort of like a line. And it gives it like a nice look and sort of more original than just a plain macaron. And I chose obviously a red color because it makes berries. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. They are so, so delicious. They're creamy, they're crunchy, and they're best when they're eaten the next day. I really, really hope you try this recipe and make sure you tag me in pictures if you did. And don't forget to check out all my other videos that I have on my channel. Subscribe and give me a thumbs up. <laughs>